stumbled upon something completely unexpected, a fifth image that shouldn't exist. This surprising extra light turned out to be the signature of a hidden dark matter halo, offering a brand new way to map the invisible mass shaping our universe. The story revolves around Her S3, a dusty, star-forming galaxy over 11 billion light-years away. Galaxies this distant are usually faint and hard to study, but in this case, its light passed directly behind a foreground group of galaxies, whose combined gravity acted as a natural lens. This gravitational lens magnified and split the galaxy's image, creating the classic Einstein cross pattern. Four points of light arranged symmetrically around the lensing galaxy. This is the Einstein cross, an extremely luminous distant quasar powered by a supermassive black hole feeding on its surroundings. In fact, each of these spots is that one quasar viewed via four different paths through the universe. You can see the nearby spiral galaxy whose gravitational field bend space-time to create these paths. Einstein crosses are rare but well understood, making them powerful tools to study both background and foreground galaxies. When astronomer Pierre Cox analyzed data from the NOEMA radio telescope array in France, he initially saw the expected four-image cross. But then he noticed something unusual, a bright fifth point of light right in the center, a clue that would reveal a hidden structure in the dark matter halo surrounding the lensing galaxies. At first, the team thought it might be a technical glitch, not uncommon in complex telescope arrays. But after reprocessing the data and carefully checking calibrations, the mysterious central image remained. To be sure, they turned to the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array in Chile. ALMA confirmed the same structure, five distinct images of her S3. This was astonishing. Einstein crosses are predicted to show exactly four images, and a central fifth image simply shouldn't exist under standard gravitational lensing models. As Rutgers astrophysicist Charles Keaton explained, a fifth image at the center can only appear if there's something unusual happening with the mass distribution bending the light. Spectroscopic analysis verified that all five images came from the same galaxy, proving the fifth image was real. The puzzle deepened. The four visible galaxies in the foreground couldn't account for it. The team needed unseen mass to explain the anomaly. To tackle this, researchers created detailed computer models of the lens, mapping the positions of the four visible galaxies and estimating their masses based on their luminosity, setting the stage to uncover the invisible culprit, a dark matter halo. When the team ran their simulations, the results were striking. No combination of visible matter could reproduce the five-image pattern. Tweaking the galaxy's shapes, positions, or masses didn't help. The physics of the luminous matter simply couldn't explain a central fifth image. The solution was clear. They had to include an invisible component, a dark matter halo. Once the halo was added, the simulations perfectly matched the observations. The fifth image appeared naturally, in the correct position and brightness just as seen in the telescope data. This discovery is profound because it offers direct evidence of dark matter's influence on the scale of a galaxy group. While astronomers know that dark matter constitutes most of the universe's mass, its distribution in smaller structures is much harder to measure. This system provides a rare, detailed case study that informs several big questions in cosmology. Distribution of dark matter. Does it form smooth halos or exist in dense clumps and cores? The fifth image shows that concentrations of dark matter can dramatically affect lensing patterns. Testing cosmological models. The standard cold dark matter model predicts halos around galaxies and groups, but anomalies like this help refine our understanding of halo formation and evolution. Studying the distant universe. The gravitational lens magnifies her S3, letting astronomers examine its star formation, gas flows, and internal structure in unprecedented detail methodological advancement. This work demonstrates how combining precise observations with detailed simulations can reveal invisible structures shaping the cosmos. This rare alignment gives astronomers a powerful new tool to study both dark matter and the galaxies it surrounds, offering insights that go far beyond a single system.
This case demonstrates that gravitational lensing is much more than a cosmic magnifying glass. It also acts as a probe of invisible matter in the foreground, revealing that dark matter halos are not just theoretical, they're measurable components of the universe's structure. The unusual Einstein cross is more than a visually striking phenomenon. It serves as a rare test case for studying dark matter in ways few other systems allow. By examining the positions and brightnesses of the lensed images, astronomers can extract precise information about the amount and distribution of mass in the lensing galaxy group. The team has taken this further by making testable predictions. For example, they expect that future high-resolution observations will reveal features like outflowing gas from Her S3 magnified by the lens. If these predictions hold true, they will validate the dark matter halo model. If not, they could point to new complexities in either the halo structure or the background galaxy itself. This case exemplifies how astronomy advances through observation, modeling, and verification, showing us both distant galaxies and the invisible scaffolding of the universe. Unexpected results like this challenge assumptions and push researchers to refine their models of how the universe works. Each anomaly sparks new investigations, and upcoming instruments promise to take this work even further. The James Webb Space Telescope can probe Her S3 in infrared, revealing its stellar populations and dust structure in unprecedented detail. The extremely large telescope in Chile will enable even more precise spectroscopy, allowing astronomers to track the motions of gas and stars within the lensed galaxy. At the same time, wide field surveys are expected to uncover more Einstein crosses and other lensing systems, providing a richer dataset for analysis. With additional examples, scientists can determine whether the fifth image anomaly is a one-off curiosity or part of a broader cosmic pattern. If similar cases are found, they could be used to map dark matter across scales ranging from individual galaxies to entire galaxy groups and clusters. The bigger picture is clear. Gravitational lensing is not only a way to study distant galaxies, but also a powerful tool for probing the invisible structures that shape the universe. Every new anomaly strengthens the evidence that dark matter halos are central to cosmic evolution, helping us understand the hidden architecture of the cosmos. This discovery showcases the power of global teamwork with NOEMA, ALMA, and international collaboration. What initially looked like a simple glitch became a window into dark matter. The fifth image transformed a puzzling observation into direct evidence of dark matter's hidden influence. Every breakthrough like this brings us closer to mapping the universe's invisible framework, revealing the structures that govern galaxies and cosmic evolution. Want to dive deeper into cosmic mysteries? Stick around and watch our next video.